Here we are. It's a new day. And with a new day comes a new force rod. And a new upgrade to Dartcraft. If you're watching this when I released it, this isn't out yet. I'm still testing it. But boy, if I haven't had a ton of fun with it already. This is tier 3. And here we go. Uh, what's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Rod of Time. <laughs> Let's see what this does. Didn't do anything. Oh, right, I forgot. It starts off in the wrong mode. Oh, I need to fix that. Time mode stop. What's that do? It didn't do anything. Alright, whatever. Alright, so this guy is Rod of Time. You could shift right click him, change his mode. Stop, slow, fast, and hyper. Alright, so I'm gonna switch to fast, and I'm just gonna press this. I think it's fed up my furnace a bit. Let's try hyper. Yeah, that's a lot faster. So what this dude does, it's spawning a little time entity that lasts for about 10 seconds, and it's using a chunk of magic, as you can see. And everything around this, blocks, tile entities, entities, will be sped up pretty significantly, especially in hyper mode. That's the fastest mode. Fast is still pretty fast. Now, this doesn't work on players, of course, because having this kind of feature on players would just be awful. I'm going to set this to stop here. Go to sleep. Oh, hi there, creeper. Stop. Oh, he couldn't explode because he stopped. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick him off while he's stopped. <laughs> <laughs> so as you might imagine, this is configurable. You might need to disable this feature. Hi oh, there, creeper. That stopped. Do I have... I do have one. I have a force flask. Because for a stopped entity... Oops. Well, I guess I let him go. That was weird. Bad spider. Stop. And you can see the little particle effects there, indicating that there's a small region of stop. So you could stop entities, you can make them go faster. I wouldn't make them go faster. If, what, what, what's my armor right now? Uh, I could speed this creeper up over here. Problem is, if I did that, he would he would teleport over to me and explode. I mean, he wouldn't teleport, but the actual amount of frames... <laughs> that took too long to explain, and he exploded over my stuff. <laughs> oh... I had this set up to a hotkey that's different from this in a world I was testing. So I was a little complacent. Uh, <laughs> and you can see they can't even burn when they're stopped. So I'm going to have to remake my... Oh, you know what? No, I'm not. I don't need this now. I'll show you guys this. This is something sweet. Because of this new rod, I literally don't need to ever bother with those kinds of... Uh, with resin trees. I can get stick reads in like 15 minutes. I'm not even joking. Okay, well, I'm gonna fill this creeper hole in. This sucks. Man, good thing it wasn't set to hyper. He would have just killed me. Oh my gosh. He destroyed the area! Ah! Oh, thank goodness he didn't get all my cocoa. That would have really sucked. Tell you what, do we have any monsters around here? I've gotta be certain there are none. I'm gonna go ahead and put a hyper right here. And watch the dirt come back, and the cocoa beans grow right up. And that is real time. Just grew all the cocoa beans. So yes, fast and hyper mode does work on crops. But be careful, because it works on nearby entities as well. If you want to see something rather hilarious, speed up all these animals. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> and stop. So they can't move. It only lasts about 10 seconds, though. Let's see. Now, another thing I changed just recently is these are storage units, and because the config setting for super storage is already enabled, these guys already look like they're sturdy, and they also function like they're sturdy. So if you break them, just pick them right up, all their stuff inside. And these guys have a new sound, sturdy or not. New open and close sound. Oh, I like that a lot better. Right, now that I have this rod, I really need some hotkeys for this. So where is... I can't believe I haven't made one of these yet. Force belt, come on. Yes! Force belt. 
Rename and recolor him. Utility belt. There we go. All right, now I'm going to stick this guy in the seventh slot. I believe I set that... Yes, I set that to R, just because now I can actually press R to stop entities in their tracks. So if I'm out there, Creeper sneaks up on me. All I have to do... Press R and he can't move, at least for a few seconds, allowing me to kill him and not die. Now, unfortunately, that took my rod, and I, I want another one because these things have several modes, and they're all incredibly useful. I'm out of fortunes. Let me just prepare some fortunes. Transmute them all with one go, so they stack. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we got a belligerent fortune, but that's fine. And 16 of them, but that's still fine. All right, so I need some gold. Don't have quite enough. Let's go ahead and smelt one up. Smelt one chunk. Get another clock. So I've got to have another one of these. Great! And I'm just going to set this one to Hyper. I'm going to put him on number two. And I'm just going to press him. A few times. I'm just going to watch this guy fill up. Nice and quickly. Of course, going through the force kind of quickly! Good lord! Oh my gosh. A little absurd. And so yeah, these do stack. So this engine's ticking very quickly, these pipes are ticking very quickly, and this infuser is ticking very quickly. And really all it's doing is saving me time. It's not necessarily... It's not getting anything better out of it. Anyway, I want more bacon. But I want it now. There we go. Hello, bacon. i got to be careful not to destroy these rods, because they're going to go pretty quickly without liquid force in them. In fact, how much liquid force do I have right now? Uh, I do not have a lot, so I am just going to pace myself with these guys, which is going to be difficult because I'm having way too much fun with these time rods. All right. All right, so I just need a few more upgrades to get to the next tier, and you'll notice that I actually made the crafting and the forge upgrades no longer necessary to upgrade your tome. They were really kind of in the way, and people don't necessarily use them, and they were also the ones that were constantly asked about, so now they're not even required. All right, so let's go use this rod a bit more. Make an area of stop here, because these zombies, look, they're, they're all just swarming. Thankfully, they're dropping magic, because I keep stop, I keep refreshing the stop. What do I have on this sword? This damage and knockback one. So normally this would be knocking the back, but because they're stopped, they can't get knocked back. How did you get in there? This is also a really good way to tell your farm animals to shut up. Because they can't make noises while they're stopped. Alright, so as you can see, this is really cheap, and I happen to love it. One thing you'll note, though, that they don't actually drop experience orbs until they start ticking again. Even though they died. It's kind of funny. Alright, so if you're the type of person that likes to shoot fish in a barrel, then this is going to be the feature for you. Of course, you can actually disable the ability to put it on rods, if you don't like this feature. It'll also go on a sword, but I'm not going to demonstrate that, because frankly, this feature is a little... What is shooting me? Man, there's always something else. Just chill. While I eat. Alright, I fell in a hole. This sucks. I actually need to get out of here. Time magic or not. So that's another thing you can do with time magic. Stop the entities and run away. Without my Baconator, I'm finding that I am having difficulty eating and having combat at the same time. Is there a zombie at my door? Get out of here. Stop. And another thing this can do is, if you stop an entity, you can actually bottle them without any resistance. Because, I mean, how, how could they resist? They're, they're stopped. So you can just throw them in a bottle. Get off my lawn! <laughs> I just imagine if old people could do that. Get off my lawn! Time stop! He's even got a shovel! Hey! Shot me. You're not playing by the rules of time stop. Okay, stop. Serious, you. Right now, I just need a creeper. I figure this is the easiest way to do this. I know, they're everywhere when I don't want them, but now that I want them, they're nowhere to be found. I just need one creeper. Might be one down here. Holy crap! Look at all the wisps down here. And they are angry too, so good thing they can't move. My gosh. 
There's a creeper. I'm just gonna bottle him. And he's gonna explode! Alright, great! So I got myself some glass powder that way. Now why there are several wisps down here has yet to be seen. Okay, stop. Hey! I told him to stop and he did! That's cool. Anyway, I'm gonna get myself another force sword. Now, for tier 3 upgrades, I need this one, this... Okay, four of them should be able to do that. Okay, so force sword, I need this, this, and that. And I'll throw a uh, grinding on there just for the points. And I'm gonna go ahead and speed you along a bit. There you go. The nice thing about this is it does work on the infuser itself as well. The weird thing is it doesn't seem to speed up carpenters and squeezers. They must be coded very well, just obnoxiously well. In fact, I think that is the perfect term, obnoxiously well. Okay, so that got me the Bane, Bleed, False, Upgrades, and now I just need this one. And the unfortunate thing is, I don't think I have a cobweb, and I don't have any slime balls, and I don't even have any chew jelly. So it looks like I'm off to hunt for a slime ball or a cobweb.